In this video, I would like to show you how to perform a ping test using PingCoin. For this test, I've selected two coins I would like to test. The first is a 2011 Silver Maple Leaf. On first inspection, it looks authentic. The second is a 2017 Silver Maple Leaf. This one also looks authentic. Now for the test. Let's get the PingCoin app. When you open the app, it opens to this screen with a list of all coins that are available to test. Before I actually do a ping test on these coins, let me show you the best technique for conducting a ping test. The classical way of performing a ping test is by balancing the coin on your index finger and striking it with a fingernail or with a pen. Although this creates a nice sustained ping sound, this setup is slightly unstable. If you strike the coin too hard, it might fall and get damaged. You don't actually need such a long sustained sound to get a good reading with the PingCoin app. A more secure alternative technique is performed by pinching the coin with your thumb and index finger at the center. Here's how that looks from the other angle. Make sure you pinch in the middle, but also make sure you don't pinch the coin too hard. You want it to be able to vibrate, but not slip out of your fingers. Use your free hand to reposition the coin to make sure the center is aligned with where your index finger and thumb want to meet. Then use your free hand to flick the coin. A soft flick will often be enough, but feel free to give several repeat flicks to make sure ping coin registers the sound. Now, back to our test. Let's look for the silver maple leaf in the list of coins. Here it is. The app is showing us that it is listening by displaying a frequency spectrum of the incoming sound. These jiggling spikes are just showing you it's picking up some background noise. On top of the spectrum you see three vertical bars which tell you where the app expects the coin's ping frequencies to appear. An authentic coin, when pinged in the right way, will generate peaks within all three bars. Now we grab the first coin and test it. A notification window pops up telling us that all three resonance frequencies were detected, which means this is probably an authentic coin. Let's press OK to dismiss the message and test the other coin. We flick the coin and we can see that the app has detected a ping, but it doesn't recognize the frequencies. There are two frequencies that are visible and they don't correspond with the locations of the expected frequencies. So this coin is probably not authentic. And that concludes our test.